Good morning, Castle community. It's me, Mr. Lesher. And me, Lily Lesher. And we're here to share with you everything you need to know for the Casa community. Today is January 22nd, 2021. And before you, we tell you all the great things that you need to know, where do we go first, Lily? Let's go to Roxy with the weather. Take it away, Roxy. Hi guys, welcome back to Roxy's um, weather choices. It's gonna be a high of 60 degrees and a low of 31 degrees. Um, it's gonna be cloudy, so wear light jackets. Back to you, Mr. Lash and Lily. Thank you very much, Roxy, for that great forecast. I'm happy to hear that it's gonna be up in the 60s or low 60s for today. So, let's find out about our birthdays today, Lily. Who's celebrating a birthday? Sadly, we have no birthdays today, but over the weekend, we have Noah in Mrs. Cologne's class. All right, well, happy birthday, Noah. Have a great weekend. And for those who are not celebrating a birthday today, we do have a special day for National Day today, and today is Celebrate Life Day. So, looking at this day in, in the world, it's a day where you're just supposed to get out there and celebrate your life. So boys and girls, children of all ages, just go out there and celebrate! And what better way to celebrate than with getting healthy? So let's check in with Fitness Friday with Mr. Lynch. Niñas y niños, chicas y chicos, feliz viernes, Senor Lynch here with your healthy tip for the weekend. We're supposed to have some good sunshine this weekend, so I recommend getting out there and enjoying it. Maybe when you're outside, you wanna try some gymnastics moves. You can do cartwheels, you maybe do a headstand, a handstand, try doing a bridge, try doing a back bend, or any other type of gymnastics move that you wanna try. But definitely get out and enjoy the sunshine if you can. That is it, have fun. Que tengas un buen fin de semana. Adiós a todos. Casa community and welcome back to the riddle of the day. Yesterday's riddle was, I have six faces but I don't wear makeup. I have 21 eyes but I cannot see. What am I? The answer was a dice. Anyone who commented down below, their names will pop up on the screen now. Now, today's riddle is, a man who was outside when it was raining, without a hat, without an umbrella, somehow did not get one hair on his head wet. How is this possible? Comment down below what the answer is and I'll be giving a shout out to anyone who answers on next Wednesday. Bye now. Hi there, Casa community. Up next, we have Joking with Jax and we have his special guest, Kaylin, with us as well giving the joke of the day. No basketball shooting today, but there is a special guest uh, that also joins Kaylin and Jax. And stay by after the joke as they have a blooper for all of you to see. Go ahead, Jax and Kaylin, take it away. Hey, Casa community, what's up? Welcome to Joking with Jax and Kaylin. Hey, Jax, how do basketball players stay cool? With their fans. Here's our number, number one. one fan. Up next is Keenan Olson with our English and Spanish word of the day. Take it away, Keenan. Hi, class community. I'm Keenan, and I'm here to share the English and Spanish word of the day. Today's English word of the day is recumbent, which means lying down. Falling from rice affect this to house because Professor McGonagall found naval recumbent 
on the floor in Gryffindor common room. La palabra en español del día hoy es reclinda, que significa acostarse. Después de la maldición de perfectos totales de Hermione, el profesor McGonagall encontró a Neville reclinda en el piso de la sala común de Gryffindor. Thanks for listening, class community. Bye. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know we have a Did You Know show? Let's go to our Did You Know show. Wow, you uh, really like your chocolate chip cookies, don't you, Molly? Yes. Whoa, okay. Well, did you know that chocolate chip cookies were created by accident? They were made by Ruth Wakefield in the 1930s. She added chocolate chunks into her cookies thinking they would melt completely, but they didn't. And now we have the best cookies ever. Would you know what my life will be without cookies? Uh, okay, I'm gonna go now. Have a good weekend. Remember to brush your teeth. Well, I'm so full, I can't even move or walk. I need help. Next up, we have our DIY team making a snow globe. Take it away. Hi guys, in today's DIY, we will be doing a snow globe. So today, we will be using a baby oil glitter, a container, glue gun to um, put the laminated pictures. So this is a snow globe container from the craft store. And we fill it up with baby oil. So we're gonna put like a teaspoon of glitter. Don't put too much or else it's gonna be foggy. Now let's put the picture inside. Now we're gonna make the other one with the toys. Wait for it to dry for 15 minutes and pour baby oil to the container. Put glue all around the top just to be secure. So this is how it turned out. Back to you, Mr. Letcher. Thank you so much, Joanna and Amari, for sharing us that snow globe creation. Up next, we have Sadie, who's going to show us how to draw an alligator. Um, 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 um. So be careful, but it is a cute alligator. Take it away, Sadie. Hey guys, welcome back to How to Draw. Today we're going to be drawing a really, really cute little alligator. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Remember, if anything's going too fast, you can pause the video. So start by drawing a hump and then a line coming out of it with a little hump at the end. And um, curve it down, but almost like a square and round and like that. So... Then draw another one that comes out of that and cur make it go wavy and curve up at the end for the smile. Draw some little teeth. And for the eye, draw an oval and fill in part of it like that. And then for the body, um, draw a line that comes there and make this go up a little bit so curve it up and then down at the end and then like bring it down under for the tail and draw a oval but don't quite finish the oval for the back foot and draw and make it go forward a little and you can draw like a little toenail if you want and then for the other leg Draw another oval, but make it skinnier, and draw the front foot, and then erase inside of there if there's extra lines. Cross here, and then draw some little bumps on the back. And there you go. You've drawn a really cute little alligator. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye! And up next, Casa, is our very own quote of the day expert, Ethan Johnson. He's back. I know you missed him yesterday, but he is back in a boomerang type of way to share his quote of the day for Friday. Hopefully he'll make you think 
and I hope he inspires you. Take it away, Ethan. Hi, Casa. This is Ethan bringing your quote of the day. Your quote today was said by an unknown author, and I really wish I knew who it was, but I'm still going to share it with you. Your quote today is, kindness, like a boomerang, always returns. What this means is that when you put kindness out into the world, it always returns. It might not be the same person that you were kind to or the same way you were kind, but it will always return like a boomerang. How are you going to throw your kindness out there? Buen dia! Well, Casa, that's going to wrap up another week of stellar newscasts. But before we go, Lily, what happened with the like challenge? Am I getting well, the pie? No. We only got seven likes, but that's okay. We want to give you all another chance. Ooh, so, another chance? For what? To give you a pie in the face. Oh, a pie in the face. Okay. So what do they got to do this time, Lily? You guys need to get 30 likes by Wednesday, and we will pie Mr. Lesher in the face. All right. So... You obviously didn't like us yesterday, but today's news is so much better that you're definitely going to like us. And all we're asking is for 30 likes. We appreciate the comments, we appreciate the subscribers, but we want to see that you like us. Come on, CASA staff, we've got about 50 of you. Like us. Come on, CASA students, we've got about 500 of you. Like us. That could be up to 550 likes, and all we're asking for is 30. All right, so without... Further ado then, we want to bid you all a great weekend, and we look forward to seeing you on Wednesday, and I look forward to getting that pie in the face. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.